Whew! I was starting to think you got swept away in the sands of time. Maybe stuck in a sand trap. Or worse, eaten up by some quicksand. Whoa! Whew. But no, you didn't get wrapped up in anything like that. Get it? Wrapped? Like the mummy you found? <laughs> Anyways, the whole mummy thing is super interesting. When someone died, ancient Egyptians would cover the body in a powder, wrap it up in layers of linen, and then place the body down into a coffin. Those Egyptians were trying to care for those who died. But do you know who cares for us the most? And can even heal us when we aren't feeling too hot? God! That's right, God is the ultimate healer and still heals people today. In the Bible, there was a king named Hezekiah. King Hezekiah was a pretty young guy when he first took over and ended up being one of the greatest kings of all time. Yeah, I said it. He was a goat, like the king goat. Old Hezi remained faithful to God, and because of this, he was successful in everything he did. When King Hezekiah was around 39 years old, he became very sick. And we're not talking like the case of the sniffles. No way. He was so sick that God sent him a message through a prophet named Isaiah. The message told Hezekiah to go ahead and get things in order, that he wasn't going to get better and soon he would die. So you can imagine this was pretty tough news to hear. The king wasn't ready to wrap things up quite yet. So he prayed to God and asked him to remember how faithful he had always been and how he always served God with his whole heart. Right after Hezekiah finished praying, God gave Isaiah another message for the king. This next message was quite the game changer. The message told Hezekiah that God had heard his prayers and, um, drum roll please, decided to heal him. That's right, God told Hezekiah that in three days, the king would go to the temple and then God would add 15 more years to his life. King Hezekiah was a little bit of a skeptic though and was like, prove it. He asked Isaiah for a sign, you know, so that God would prove he'd actually do it. And without missing a beat, Isaiah offered the king two options. Do you want the sun shadow to move forward 10 steps or back 10 steps? Hezekiah knew it was pretty easy for the shadow to move forward 10 steps, so he picked the other option. Well, challenge accepted. God made the shadow go back 10 steps and the king knew he would be healed. Hezekiah decided to go to the temple after three days and ended up living for 15 more years. 15! That's because God kept his promise and healed Hezekiah. God has many names, and one of those names is healer, because, well, God's a healer. You see, God really cares about us. He really wants us to be healthy physically, like with our bodies, emotionally, with our feelings, mentally, with our thoughts, and spiritually, in our relationship with him. That mummy you found is a great reminder that God can heal any sickness we have. He may not always heal in the way that we would choose, but we can be sure that God is our healer. The best of the quest isn't over yet. We've got lots of ground to cover, and I can't wait to see you next time.